Oh, welcome to Simple Cooking with Eric. Um, good to be back. Welcome. I hope um, you will enjoy this video today. Well, today we're going to be making great northern beans. And, uh, you know, people talk about beans. Beans are so easy to make. And, uh, you, know, you know, I was taught coming up that beans, you had to soak them in the water f uh, for hours or overnight dry bean but I, I found out that all you have to do is once you put your beans in your pot with your water just make sure that you watch the uh the water content but it's so simple and easy and, and thinking about beans someone gave me a challenge they gave me and well i would say someone uh a lady by the name of uh, uh reverend patricia bolden she gave me a box of food I guess that comes from a food pantry. You know, so many people look down on food pantry and and, and uh, receiving um, things from the food pantry. But, you know, she gave me a chance. She said, you know, can you make a meal with everything that's in this box? I said, of course. So I pulled out, you know, every day I'm going to take something out the box and make a meal with it. So I pulled out some canned pork. And as you can see, canned pork. Now, what can somebody do with canned pork? Well, I'm going to show you a video on what you can do with this canned pork. Um, and what I'm going to do with this canned pork, I'm going to drain it. I'm going to saute it in some onions. And then I'm going to make a pulled pork barbecue toasted sandwich. So, that's in the next video, though. I don't know why I'm talking about pulled pork and we're doing northern beans, right? Also, it has some elbow macaroni. So what will go good with the pulled pork barbecue salad? Some macaroni salad. And because it's summer and cold, I mean summer and hot, you can make a refreshing meal just out of the uh, food pantry box. So that's coming along in the, another video. But back to um, Great Northern Bay. Let me say this to you people. Uh, this is reality kitchen, keeping it real, whatever, however people want to put it. But, you know, I was thinking about something about, you know, um, I want to tell people how to stretch your link, SNAP benefits, link, I don't know what they call it, what you call it at your state, food stamp. But, you know, so many times that, um, you know, we look down on people that get food stamps or link or snap, but you know, whatever reason that you might be on them, you know, I want to kind of talk about how you can stretch it. But now, but let's get one thing out the way. People, when you get your link or your food stamp, please, when the holiday rolls around, do not go and spend all of your food stamp and link on the holiday. A lot of people go and Around New Year's Eve, they bet they want to make gumbo, so they go and buy all expensive items. They go and gumbo crab legs, shrimp, uh, 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 whatever goes in gumbo, whatever you put in your gumbo, they go and buy all kind of expensive things for gumbo, just for that one day. Please, people, do not go spend all your link on on that one holiday. Fourth of July, I'm pretty sure people had steaks on the grill and. Uh, uh, muscles. I don't know. I, you know, it's just so many people going overspend during the holiday, but then the rest of the month you don't have, you know, you scrape it by. So, you know, the best way to handle that? Everybody that's going to come to your house to eat, listen, when it's New Year's, say, listen, I'm going to make a pot of gumbo. Hey, you bring me some crab legs, you bring me some crab legs, you bring me some crab legs. You just pick up some shrimp, you pick up some shrimp. I mean, whatever way you make it, you know, make it be a potluck effort. But now you don't want everybody cooking it. So what you do to say, listen, either you give me a few dollars on the content for the gumbo, or you bring me the crab. So you bring, bring it everything around. I don't need you to cook anything. Just bring it. That's just an inside joke. But back to, uh, let's get started on these great northern beans. I talk too much. I love to talk. I'm going to be talking a lot. And things come to my mind. But, you know, um, you no, know, just everyday life and, and everyday life, everyday life. And people have it so hard in bed and with the the government, 
that we have in offense now, you just don't know, know what you're going to be getting. You you just don't know. So you just want to be mindful. And, you know, it's a way you can say things jokingly out of love and, and I make a person smile. And I, that's, that's how I'm coming to you, out of love. And just I'm no expert on anything. And I just lived. And, and, and I have lived in I lived in a you know what? I have lived a good life. I have did a many, many things in life. I've lived in a man mansions, two mansions. And I have lived in the worst of places. So and you know, and I always my motto is it's not where you live, it's how you live. I have the best of life and I you know, I have my struggles and I have my gas cut off before, my lights turned off before, you know. I not never been hungry, don't never seen a hungry day in my life. Uh, you know, I always think about coming up. We were poor, but we didn't know it as children. We didn't know we were poor. Our parents made sure that we had the things that we need and some extra. So um, life is what you make it, you know. And most of all people, I'm not going to get on here preaching, but if you really, I have learned to let you put God in your life and, you know, really put him in your life. And I don't know, a lot of people... Uh, the hope that will be viewing that whatever your faith is, you know, that I hope to, that you just try to be the best person you can and love people and just be a good person. So I guess that's going to be my philosophy for today. So let's get started on these no great northern. Now, people, I'm working this camera on my own, so we're going to come over here. So, what are we going to do? Now, let me make sure you can see what I'm doing. There you go. Bear with 